Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lethal Lace Holster. A lot of you have asked me to review it and they were nice enough to send me one so that I can do a video review for you guys and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. to my channel yet please make sure to go down below and hit subscribe I'm almost at a hundred thousand subscribers I think there's about a thousand more before I hit a hundred thousand which is just crazy so I just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed and who've been supporting my channel over the last few years I'm so thankful for you thankful that you keep watching my videos and supporting what I'm doing here at She Equips Herself. Okay, so let's talk about the Lethal Lace Holster. Some of you have messaged me and asked me to review it, which is why I'm doing this video. I've been curious about it. I know my sister used one for a while. So if you don't know what the Lethal Lace Holster is, they claim that it is basically five holsters in one, so you can wear it anywhere on your body. So if this is a good holster for you, in theory, you only need this to cover all of your needs for whatever outfit you want to wear. So according to their website, you can wear it on your ankle, your calf, your thigh, your belly. You can use it as a bra holster. You can use it under your arm. Did I miss anything? Your chest, your hips, your back and you can carry any size firearm. So that sounds pretty perfect. So let's give it a try and see how this works. So when you open up the package, it comes with directions. This is the holster, there's their Lethal Lace logo right there, and you, you can see here it goes from really dark to light. This is the pocket where you put the gun, and right next to it is another pocket where you can put an extra magazine or a knife or something. So then you just unwrap it and it's all this lace material. It's really long. They do have a shorter one if you only want to wear it on your leg, like your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. But this is the longer one, which you can also use on your leg. So if you know you're only going to want to wear it on your leg, maybe get the shorter one. So let's get up and see how this works. Okay, so in the directions, it says that the tag, which I'm assuming is the little logo tag here, that's supposed to be on the inside of your body. So I'm gonna take this little piece of flexible rubber they gave, which I think goes in the pocket to protect your trigger. I'm gonna put it in the outside section of the holster pocket. There's two sections, and it seems like this should go on the outside one. So it sits flat in there. And then there's a section behind it where I'm gonna put the gun so that that's guarding the trigger. So I'm gonna take my blue gun here. This is in the shape of a Smith & Wesson shield and put it in the pocket behind that trigger guard. Okay, so then it sits in there like that. And now you're supposed to hold it where you want it. So I'm just gonna do it on my midsection here since that's where I normally carry. And then you hold it in place and start wrapping around your body, kind of like a, like a SWAT tee, like a tourniquet. You want to keep it flat as you go around, so don't let it bunch up. So then you do one wrap, and then you can kind of let the gun go because the elastic's now holding it in place as you wrap. And you want it pretty tight. My hair's so long, I don't want it to get caught in there. You want it pretty tight so that it's not falling off or moving around. So just keep wrapping until you get to the end. There's the end here of the fabric. Bring that around. And then you're gonna use these, they have two clips here. They're called, uh, what are they called? Suspender clips or suspender grips. So you're gonna take the suspender clip and clip it to the material. And then this one as well. I'm just gonna clip that so that everything stays in place. Okay, you can see here that because of my shape, I'm a little hourglassy. It's coming together in the middle here and I worry that if I wear this throughout the day, it's going to eventually just smush into the center and become uncomfortable. I'm gonna take the fabric off this grip here so that I can actually access my gun. They say on their website that you can cover the grip, but I want to be able to get to my grip. So I'm gonna open it like that and not really cover the entire thing. So you can see it on me there. Reholstering without taking this entire thing off, I don't think would be very safe because you'd have to really kind of tuck the gun into your body and point it in places you don't want it to be pointing as you are holstering your gun. So you have to take this whole thing off and reholster it and then put it back on. So if you're gonna take a class 
and this is the holster you're gonna use, I would not recommend doing that. I recommend using a different holster and practicing your dry fire with an empty gun at home out of this holster and just rewrapping it every time, <laughs> which would be kind of a pain. But if you like this holster and that's how you wanna carry, you still have to practice out of it, but you have to do it safely. So that means you have to rewrap it every time. But let's just see if I can get to my gun the way it is like this. Now I'd have to take the whole thing off and reholster because let's just use the blue gun here so I can show you why. If I try to reholster it like this, the holster pocket is like right against my body. I'd have to, I'd have to like, it's just unsafe. I'm pointing it at my finger, I'm pointing it at my belly. So you definitely want to take the entire thing off, reholster, and then put the whole thing back on. Another way that you can wear this is under your arm or as a bra holster. So I'm gonna put the gun back in the pocket. So I'm gonna put the gun back in the pocket and let's try under the arm. So the way that works is you put it here. So you put the gun under your arm and then you're gonna wrap around it from underneath. <laughs> I should have put my hair up for this video. I guess if you don't have long hair, you don't have to worry about it getting stuck in there. Okay, it's hot. So just keep wrapping and maybe they show how you can come around your body and do something like this. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe make like a little top out of this. <laughs> I don't know. And then you'd have to draw it out like that or do cross body on the other side. And anyway, it can be positioned there if you like that sort of draw. And let's try the leg because you guys know I love my Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster. I have yet to find a replacement for it of something that works better for carrying on my leg. So let's give this a go on my leg. So I normally carry on the inside of my left thigh. You can also carry on the outside of your other thigh depending on what you're wearing. So again, position the gun where you want it. Wrap around and straighten out that fabric so that it lies flat. Oh, okay. And then you just keep wrapping. So I mentioned before they make a shorter wrap that's just for carrying on your leg. So if you know that you're only gonna use this on your leg or you just want another one that's just for your leg, you can do that. Clips in place. That's actually very comfortable. You would wear this directly on your leg and not over pants, most likely. But there's the gun in there. This fabric is comfortable enough and wide enough where it's not squeezing my leg in an uncomfortable way. And it tucks it in there pretty good. And you draw out of the pocket like that. All right, so now let's try calf. I've actually never carried on my calf. Maybe because I don't really wear long dresses that often but let's give it a try, because this seems like it could be really comfortable. Um, I just don't like having the gun that low on my body, I guess, but if this were the only way I could carry in like a long dress, then so be it. I will carry this way. Make sure you're keeping that fabric flat as you wrap. Okay, and then clip and clip. There it is on your calf. It's kind of digging into my bone. I'd have to figure out a position that I like best for this type of carry. Um, but there it is on your calf. You can also move it down to your ankle. So. There are lots of ways to carry in this holster. Let's talk about some pros and cons based on what I've seen. All right, so I went grocery shopping the other day and I took the Lethal Ace holster for a test drive at the grocery store. So I'm gonna insert a clip here where I'm talking to you guys about what happened there. So I'm wearing a kind of flowy top, which helps with the concealment. I basically have the holster on my waist and I'm carrying the Glock 42 because the shield is just a little too big for this holster. So just so you can see what it looks like with a seat belt on. The gun's right here, so I could get to it if I needed to. There are some adjustments you can make, like in terms of where it sits on your body. But I was actually talking in this clip, but someone was mowing a lawn outside, so you can't hear me. But 
basically what I'm saying is that the holster ended up bunching up into the middle of my body as I was walking. So I went to the grocery store, I got back in the car, I went to another grocery store, I got back in the car, and by the time I came home, it was all bunched up around my midsection, and it was just not very comfortable. So if you're shaped like me, where you're kind of an hourglass, like your waist goes in, then it might not be super comfortable for you to carry here in the Lethal Lace holster. If you're shaped more rectangular, that might be better, or if you just carry it in a different spot, like lower on your hips or higher, like if you can carry it here. For me, my midsection's really short, so if I carry it here or here, it's not that different. It's still gonna bunch up like that. So for my body type, that didn't really work for me. Another thing I wanted to mention is that when I wore it at the grocery store, I actually carried the Glock 42. It's empty. I carried the Glock 42 in it because it's lighter and smaller, and I did try my Shield Plus in it, also empty, but it was just too heavy, I think, for this holster because of how thin it is. That's gonna be personal preference. It just wasn't as comfortable to me as the Glock 42, so I opted to carry the Glock in it for that little test run I did with the Lethal Lace holster. Another thing, I don't love the trigger guard. I just, I worry that it's gonna get in the way of my draw or pop out because it's not really stuck in there with anything, it's just sitting in there. So you could Velcro it in or glue it in. I've also seen sticky holsters being recommended. So you put, this is too small for my gun, but you put your gun in a sticky holster, put the sticky holster in and then that will protect your trigger. And because of the material on the sticky holster, it won't come out with the gun. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Also, you can try using something like this really minimalist trigger guard from Dean Adams. This is the one I used in the video where I show you how to put a trigger guard like this inside a belly band. So you could use something like this. I actually do have a discount code for Dean Adams now if you want to try something like this or get one of their corset holsters, which you guys know I love. I'll link that below and give you guys the code in case you wanna save some money on one of those. But with this, you could use the Velcro like I did in that other video, I put Velcro in here and inside my belly band. You can do the same thing in here and just stick that inside the pocket. Put your gun in the holster and then use that as a trigger guard. It's still very thin, so that's another option. I would just definitely recommend getting some sort of trigger protection inside of this because it's so thin and this just doesn't seem sufficient. That's just a little tip if you're gonna use this holster, get some sort of trigger guard like this one from Dean Adams or a sticky holster to put inside that pocket. So if you wanna check these out, I'm actually trying to get a discount code for you guys from Lethal Lace. If they give me one, I'll put all the information below, so make sure you're always looking at the descriptions of my videos so that you can get all that information. And before I let you guys go, I just want to remind you that I'm creating an online course called the Armed and Confident Academy, which is designed to get you comfortable enough to make firearms a part of your daily life if you've been on the fence or unsure, or you just don't really have that confidence yet, check the link below for that so that you can be added to a list where I will let you know as the launch date gets closer so that you don't miss it because I am going to be doing special early bird pricing on that. So click the link below so that you can be added to my email list and I can let you know as the date gets closer. Let me know if you're interested in that and also leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, bye.